Hey everyone, and welcome back. Some of my long-term viewers have been complaining that the top-down angle doesn't let you get a good look at absolutely everything that I'm doing here, especially when it comes to stuff like product reviews and stuff like that where you'd really want a nice view around it. Well, I hear you, I get you, and that's why I printed this. And what is this, you may ask? Weird circle thing? Well, let me plug it in. This is a 3D printed, almost fully 3D printed, in fact, turntable. Uh, let me show you. This is a design by Thingiverse user Inhibit, which is a, a remix of a another user's design. Uh, Silent Bob was the original user. And um, basically, it's a little table stand. It's got one of these uh, stepper motors that I've done recent videos on. That would be the uh, 28BYJ-48. These are 5 volt variants of that. And it's got these uh, 608 basically skateboard bearings. And it's just a turntable. And a turntable is fantastic use in electronics, especially when it's based on a stepper motor, because you can actually pre-program it to take the amount of steps that you want it to take. So this thing can actually rotate, you know, like halfway around and then back. It can rotate um, at different speeds, depending on, on different inputs or whatever, because all controlled by this Arduino and this uh, ULN 2003 um, stepper motor driver. You can have this set up to do any kind of thing that you want because it is based on the stepper motor. Now, what I would recommend of you is you only use this for very light loads. If you load this too heavily, the little stepper motor starts to fail. I don't know if you can see the jerkiness there. Um, these little stepper motors are really not meant to drive a lot of load. And, you know, the word a lot in this case is very variable. You can see this thing, it's pushing it hard. Um, the other thing is that these little stepper motors use a lot of current. This is a 360 milliamps right now that it's pulling. And if I remove it, yeah, same amount. So it's actually, it's just, it just requires a lot of current. Even loading it down doesn't seem to draw more current. No, I think, I think just these little motors are not perfect. Um, and that's the reason why I'm actually designing my own custom version of this based on a NEMA 17, basically a 3D printer stepper motor, which is almost completed. So yeah, just just wanted to show you the new addition to the channel. And I think in order to really appreciate what this is going to bring to the channel, I need to bring you some gratuitous footage. So I hope you liked what you saw there. Um, like I said, this thing will be part of the channel for a little while, but mostly until I finish my own version of this, which will be a lot stronger. 
and I want it to be a lot stronger so I can actually put down you know a bigger table on it or something and really load it down with some heavy stuff so that you can see it in full 360 and the eventual goal in the future will be to have a b-roll set so yeah I'm gonna take some b-roll footage for you guys so you guys get a better look at what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it I can just cut it in or I can just give you some glamour shots so uh, let me know what you think and if you would be willing to print one of these yourself I do recommend the remixed version by user inhibit found in the description below because it uses the skateboard bearings um, the previous unit user silent Bob uh, he had made it with a 6262Z bearings. I recommend highly if you're going to make something for other people, you adapt it for 608 bearings because they are just the cheapest and easiest to find. Thanks for watching.